So just be mindful of your audio and your video. And I am just going to put up the disclaimer screen quickly, and then we can just hop right into our practice. Great, thank you so much for your patience on that one. And welcome everybody. My name is Melissa and tonight I'll be guiding all of this yoga. We're gonna to practice together for 45 minutes. So props that you're gonna need for practice today. You're gonna to wanna to have a yoga mat. So grab that if you don't have it already. And I always love practicing with a blanket and a block. Just those are really nice props to kind of support the practice. If you don't have the yoga blanket, you know, blanket off the couch, pull off the couch is perfect just to kind of pad the knees if needed. And the yoga block is great to have, but if you don't have that, that's okay. You can also grab something that looks like it, maybe have a chair close by or something like that. So as we come into our time together, just remember to listen to your body. If some of the stretches don't work for you, no problem. You can always skip them, come on out, modify. Remember that this is your practice and we all have different bodies. We've all been through different things. So just honor yourself for your ads and enjoy the practice tonight. So let's get started and seated and we'll give ourselves a couple moments here to drop into our breath and our body. So letting your eyes close. And then just taking a moment here just to notice where your body's meeting the ground. So maybe the edges of legs, the edges of the feet. And then grounding through your sitting bones, lengthening your spine, lengthening the back of the neck. Reach, stretch through the crown of your head. And then we'll take a moment to connect to the rise and the fall of the breath. And then lengthening as you inhale and lengthening as you exhale. And maybe encouraging your exhale to be a little bit longer than your inhale. Taking a moment and just feeling your breath flow through your body. Breathe into your stomach, ribs, chest, and then releasing from your chest, ribs, and stomach. And then knowing each time that you breathe, you bring life, oxygen to all of the cells throughout your body. Set an intention if you would like. So your intention could be anything, maybe to relax a little bit or to honor your body if you have an injury or to push yourself. So intention could be anything that you would like it to be. Let's start by taking the chin into the chest. We're just going to lengthen the back of the neck here. And then allow for your head to relax back. So we're just going to take our nice gaze right on up to the sky. And then chin to your chest. And then letting your head relax back. And then we're just going to take this one at our own pace for a moment. Coming into a neutral neck here. Let's take our right ear to our right shoulder. Come back to center, lengthen, and left ear to left shoulder. And then back on through to center, lengthen, and side to side for a moment. 
we're just going to work with a little Nexa, which will be great. We've probably all been on the computer a little bit long today and also with our phone looking down. So this will be great for just getting that circulation and blood flowing and melting away tension in the neck. Come to a neutral neck, lengthen and look off your right shoulder. Back to neutral neck, gaze off your left shoulder and realign. And we're just gonna take this one side, two sides. And then back on through to neutral. And then taking a moment to send your chin forward. And then we're going to draw our chin back. So you're going to send the chin forward. And then draw your chin back. Excellent. Let's take a neutral neck here and we're just going to realign and lengthen our spine. Walk your hands off to the right. We're just going to find a little side stretch here so you can bring both of your hands down to the ground and then try to press down through your left sitting bone. And we're just going to lengthen here through the side body, through the arm, through your fingertips. And then coming back and through the center, we're going to walk ourselves through center, take a breath here, and then walk your hands off towards the left. And then pressing that right sitting bone down, lengthen that side body, arm and fingertips. And then let's take our hands back and through the center. And we're going to walk our hands to the right. And then this time, plant your right hand. And we're just going to kind of sweep our left arm up and over, bringing us into a nice lateral stretch for the spine. And then your left hand is going to float yourself through center. Take your left hand off to the right. And then let your right arm open you up. So heart is shining through the sky. Arm is opening. And then we're just going to try this one side to side. So right foot, right hand floats you through center opens the heart and the chest and then floating back on through to neutral and then let's give ourselves a moment to pause so we're just going to let that right shoulder roll back left shoulder under heart is shining to the sky and then we'll take that to the left and then pausing for a moment here And then release, let's come back to neutral, take a breath here and come on into table. So as you come into table, maybe grabbing your blanket to pad your knees. So we're just going to take our knees, our hips in line. We'll take our wrists, our shoulders in line and feeling the fingers stand wide. So we'll press down through the index finger and pressing down through the thumb. Working with some earth salutations. So earth salutations are great. They're really grounding and we work with different back bends each time. So it's a really nice heart opening practice. So good for our back getting into all the different parts of the back, strengthening and stretching and all the good things. Let's come on up to our knees. Take a full breath in. We're going to reach and stretch our hands up. Release yourself down for a child pose. And then come on forward. Let's take a knee down plank position and then moving into sphinx from here so we're going to lower all the way down to the mat let your hands come right out in front of you elbows in line with your shoulders maybe reach for opposite arms breathe here into your low back bend pressing the hands down elbows lift up elbows wrap in for low cobra bhujangasana Arms can straighten, reach, stretch through the crown of the head. Let's come on down to the mat. We're going to take a full breath here and press back to a downward facing dog when you are ready. 
in down dog. Let's take it out a little bit here. We're going to bend one knee and then bend the other knee. Let your head relax, yes. And let your head relax now. So as we slow here, always just moving in a pain-free range and just remembering that there's no right and there's no wrong way to move. Knees begin to lower, hips to the heels and heart lowers down. So let's come on up, full breath in, hands reach, drags to the sky, hands at your heart, breathe out. Hands extending up, breathe in. Take yourself down to child's pose, breathe out. Lamps come on forward. Back to knee down, plank, and we'll try cobra. Lower all the way down to the mat. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. We're gonna take the tips of the fingers in line with the tops of the shoulders. Pinkies in line with your deltoids. Glue the tops of your feet down. Core engages, and let's come on up to our navel. Hug your arms into the sides of your body. Let your elbows run straight back, and almost create a little sensation that you can lift your hands off of the mat. Take yourself down to the ground. Let's take a full breath here, pressing back to down dog when you're ready. Knees will begin to lower. Let's take those hips back to our heels. Heart's going to soften down to the mat. And then coming on up, let's take a full breath in. Hands reach and stretch to the sky. Hands at your heart space, breathing out. Let's try another one. Hands are going to sweep up, breathe in. Fold yourself down, breathing out. Come on forward. Knee down, plank, and working with a variation of both, lower all the way down to the ground. Let's take our arms alongside the body, palms will face down. Take a breath in here. We're going to lift our legs. We're going to lift the torso. Arms are lifting up. Try to open the chest and the heart. Try to relax your shoulders back and down. We're gonna breathe here into the back bend for the three parts of your back. Let's come on down. Take a full breath here. Press back to down dog when you're ready. Knees will begin to lower. Hips back to your heels. Let's land in that child's pose. And then coming on up, full breath in. Hands at heart. Full breath out. Let's try another. Hands are going to sweep up. Release yourself down. Come on forward. Knee down plank. Moving into King Cobra this time. So we're going to lower all the way down to the mat. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders and then walking your hands off to the sides of the mat. So a foot on one side, a foot on the other side. And you can be kind of tensed up on the fingertips. Glue the tops of your feet down and then lifting up as high if you would like. You don't have to straighten the arms if that doesn't feel comfortable for you. You can always just keep a bend in your elbows. Have your elbows pointing up to the sky. And then we're going to breathe here into our back bend. Lower down to the mat. Take a full breath here, and we'll press back to down dog when you are ready. And knees will begin to lower. Let's take our hips back to our heels, hearts lowering down towards the mat, and then coming on up. Full breath in, hands reach, stretch up, and hands at heart, breathe out. Let's come on forward to down dog. And forward fold when you're ready. So we're just going to walk our toes to our hands, landing in a fold, and shake it out in your fold. Maybe bending your knees and relax your head yes, and relax your head no. Let's take our hands off to the right. Find a side stretch here. Try to feel grounded evenly through both of your feet, inside and outside of each foot. Back to center, hands to the other side. 
Back to center. Let's take a half lift here. We're gonna find our flat back. Hold yourself down and come on up. We're gonna rise for mountain pose. Draw your hands at your heart space as you exhale. Hands are going to extend up. Take a nice deep full breath. Fingers will interlock, palms press to the sky. Lengthen, release your hands to the right. Roll your left shoulder under, right shoulder rolling open, heart is shining to the sky. Come back to center, let's lengthen here. Release to the other side. Try to feel that left hip pressing off to the left and just guiding you deeper into your stretch. Back to center, hands behind your body, fingers interlock, palms will touch. Take a full breath to lengthen. Fold yourself down, breathe out. Try to relax the fronts of your shoulders. And just noticing if that helps you move a little deeper into the shoulder stretch. And gently relax your hands onto your low back. We're gonna float our hands down to the yoga mat. Take your half lift here. Fold yourself down. Let's come on up for mountains. Full breath in as you rise. Hands at your heart space. Breathe out. Right foot lifts up for tree pose. We'll come into Rakshasana. So for tree, you can bring your foot anywhere on the leg that feels comfortable. We just don't want to place the foot right onto the knee joint. So below the knee or above the knee is fine. And we're just going to let ourselves sink here into the pose. Feel really grounded in your left foot. So almost imagine a sensation like you could grow roots from your foot right down into the earth. We're going to try a standing foot pose from here. So as you come into standing foot, you're just going to scoop that right leg right on up to the sky. And you're gonna look to the wall behind you, maybe even take your gaze to the ceiling up behind your body. As you exhale, we're gonna take our knee to our nose, round your spine, send your leg up and back. Exhale, round, up and back. Three more times here. Coming back on through to standing split. Let's release ourselves back to a runner's lunge. Begin to bend and straighten your front leg. And then as you're flowing here with the breath, we're just bending and straightening the front leg. As you exhale, feel your leg straightening. As you inhale, feel your knee bending. Let's take a moment, straighten your front leg, give yourself a fold forward, coming into a variation of a runner stretch. Allow for your spine to relax. Try to let go of tension through the back of your head and the back of your neck. Bending into your left knee, let's take our left hand to the sky and we'll find a twist. And as you take a twist, with your in breath, feel your spine lengthen on your out breath. Let your twist deepen. We're going to take it back on through to our lunge, core engages, and coming up, find a crescent warrior. Let's try to feel hips and shoulders squaring forward, right shoulder moving forward, right hip coming forward. Left shoulder back, left hip back a little bit. Working with a little movement here, so you can hold on to stillness. Maybe take a little bend, deeper bend. Maybe that knee is going to tap down. We're going to float ourselves back on us.
Back and through, resetting to crescent. Let's take the hands down. Right foot's so gonna take a big step to the upper left edge of your yoga mat, landing in a fold with your legs crossed. Take a moment here to line your toes up, line your heels up, and then fold over the fronts of the legs as you exhale. Coming back into a fold, we'll just gently unwrap our legs, line your feet up with your hips. We're gonna shake it out a bit here. Half lift, forward fold. Come on up for a mountain on in breath. Hands up hard on out breath. Left foot's gonna lift and we'll try tree on the other side. So anytime we take a balance pose, find your drifty. We're gonna find that one spot to focus concentration, to focus awareness. And once you find that spot, not letting the eyes shift Let's come to standing splits from here. We're just going to float that leg back. Reach your leg to the sky. As you exhale, let's take our knee into our nose. We're going to do a little round in here. Send your leg up and back. Exhale, round. Up and back three more times. Back to runner's lunge, bending and straightening your front leg. Let's take a moment. We're going to straighten the front leg. We're going to fold forward here. Bending into your front knee. We'll take our right hand to the sky, coming into a twist. Releasing your hand down. Core engages. Let's come back and up. We're going to take a crescent warrior here. And then as you take crescent, we're going to create some movement. Excellent. Let's take this back on through to crescent. Hands lower for runner's lunge. Last foot close to the upper right edge of the mat, coming into a fold. Try to send your weight back into your heels. Maybe give yourself a little more stretch here. Give a hamstring stretch, give a calf stretch. We are going to unwrap our legs for that traditional fold. Maybe stick it out a little bit here. Come on back to plank, high push-up pose. Knees up or down, chaturanga. We'll take an up dog here. Using your breath, let's breathe into the back bend. We're gonna press back to down dog, breathe out. Coming on forward, let's come back into that fold. Take a half lift here, fold yourself down and come on up for mountain as you inhale. Hands at your heart space as you exhale. Let's take our right hand for our right foot. We'll try a dancer pose coming into Nadara Dasana. So on dancer, you can grab on the outside of the foot. That tends to be a little denser stretch on your shoulder. But if you wanted a deeper shoulder stretch, you can always grab on the inside of the foot. We can reach and stretch our hand up. Maybe take your index and your thumb to touch, coming into a mudra. Begin to kick your foot into your hand, and we're going to take ourselves into a nice back bend here. 
So try to create that sensation of kicking your foot back and up. Breathing into your low back, mid back and upper back bend. Breathing into your quad stretch, hip flexor and psoas stretch. Coming into warrior one from here. We're gonna take that right foot back. Right heel will lower, deep bend in that front knee, and hands are going to reach and tuck to the sky as you breathe in. Try to feel your hips and your shoulders pouring forward. Relax your shoulders from your ears. Straighten your front leg. We're going to take our arms alongside our body, palms will face forward. Take a deep bend in that front knee, hands reach and stretch up and release. And then finding your own rhythmic flow here for a moment. So maybe each time that you bend into your front knee, we bend deeper, we move deeper into that leg and into that hip stretch. Back on through to warrior one. Warrior two when you're ready. And then as you come into warrior two, shoulders are over the hips. Feel your hands reaching and stretching forward and back. And let's create a sensation that you could pull your feet in towards one another. We'll come into reverse. We're going to take our front hand up and back. Back hand can glide down your back leg. Maybe wrap your arm around your low back. Reach for your other hip crease. Come on through. Back to warrior two. Take yourself down to a lateral angle. And maybe try and extend a lateral angle. Maybe lowering your hand all the way down to the ground. Hand can be to the sky. You can also create an angle framing your ear and maybe wrap your arm around your low back and reach for the other hip crease. Core engages. Let's take ourselves back and up. Reset to warrior two. And from here, we're gonna try goddess. So for goddess, turn your left toes in. We're gonna line our toes up, line our heels up. Then turn your toes out, heels are gonna shift in. We'll take a deep bend into our knees and then arms are gonna sweep up to goddess pose. Let's tuck the tailbone here. So we're gonna try to lengthen our low back, lengthen through your spine. We're gonna reach and stretch our hands up. Maybe the arms are gonna kind of cross here, legs are gonna straighten. Deep bend into your knees, we're gonna sweep those arms down. Full breath in, reach up, stretch up and release flowing here with your breath let's release that one we're going to come back into goddess and from goddess, let's try the warrior two pose to the front of our yoga mat. Windmill the hands down. We're gonna come to our runner's lunge and then walk your hands to the inside of your foot. You're just gonna take your foot all the way off to the outer edge of your yoga mat. And then your back foot's gonna take a big step to the outer edge of your yoga mat. So you are gonna land in a fold with your legs wide. Toes can turn out. Heels are shifting in, and then let's drop those hips back and down. So we're going to come into a variation of a yogi squat, malasana, sometimes we call this one garland pose. So we're going to send our weight back into our heels so that the toes are a little lighter. Maybe those toes are lifting from the ground. And take it forward to a fold. Draw your feet in line with your hips. Take a half lift here. Forward fold. 
come on up. Let's rise, mountain, inhale. Hands at heart, out breath. Let's take our left hand for our left foot and we're gonna try dancer on the other side. Right hand's gonna reach and stretch out in front of us and begin to kick the foot into the hand. We're gonna take ourselves forward. You can always try that mudra in the hands, maybe bringing your index and your thumb to touch, the pads of the fingers come together. And then we're just gonna create that sensation of kicking the foot into the hand, moving you into that nice back bend. Let's come on back to a warrior one pose. So we're just gonna take our back foot back, round firmly through the heel, the outer edge of your foot, hands reach and stretch to the sky. Creating some movement, straighten your front leg, arms alongside your body, palms face forward. Let's take it back on up, inhale and exhale, breathing in, breathing out. Let's come back on up, reset to warrior one, and then coming into warrior two pose. And then in warrior two, try to relax your shoulders from your ears. Full breath in, full breath out. Reverse warrior, float it up, float it back. Come on through. Right arm to right leg, lateral angle, hand can reach and stretch up to the sky. Maybe bringing your hand down, finding extended lateral angle, maybe arm frames ear, full breath in and out. Core engages. Let's take ourselves back and up. We'll do a little reset here. And then working with our goddess pose once again. So we're just going to turn those right toes in. So we have our toes in line, heels in line, and you can turn your toes out, heels just in. This time, let's take our hands onto our legs. We're going to get nice and deep in the knees, and then a little shifting side to side here. Find your stillness. Let's reset. Back into goddess pose. Let's take our left elbow to our left knee. Reset to center. Right elbow to the right knee. Realign and side to side here. Coming back on through to goddess. We're going to release by straightening out those legs, turning your toes in so that your toes are in line, heels are in line, nice alignment for your knees. Let's lengthen our spine. We're gonna fold ourselves down when you're ready. Bringing your hands onto the ground, shaking out those legs a little bit. Relax your head, relax your neck. Let's walk our hands out in front of us. Send your weight back into your heels. Letting the hands be light. And almost the sensation that your hands can lift from the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's walk our hands into our body. And we're going to walk our hands underneath us. Let your weight float. Forward into your toes, heels are a little lighter, and almost the sensation that your heels could lift off of the mat. Now let's begin to release that one. 
We're gonna walk our hands to frame our front foot. Let's take ourselves into a lunge. Step yourself back into place. Chaturanga, Dindasana. We're gonna take an up dog here. So use your breath. Breathe into your back bend. Breath back to down dog. Breathe out. Knees will begin to lower. Keep your feet to the right or to the left. And we're going to come into seated. And as you come into seated, let's make our way down onto our back from here. So as you come down onto your back, you're just going to hug your knees to your chest. Arms, hands around knees or shins. Let's take a gentle rock to the right and off to the left. And then from this rocking, we're going to work with a really nice leg and hip stretch. So we'll take our right leg up and over to start. This brings us into a figure four stretch. And you can decide if you want to stay here. You could also reach for the back of your leg. You can reach for the front of your leg. And there's also a variation where you take both of your arms around both of your legs. And then we're just going to let the eyes close for a moment. You can flex your right foot. Feel yourself pressing out through your heel. And then your right knee, you can press it away from your face if you'd like, or just kind of energetically send it forward. And then we will unwrap our legs. Left leg comes up and over. Find figure four. And then take the stretch where you'd like to go with it. And then unwrap your legs. Let's reach for the feet. We're going to take a happy baby stretch. Flexing your feet, reaching through your heels, maybe rock side to side, maybe find stillness. Yeah. And then taking your knees to your chest, we can hug them in. And we're going to take a rock to the right. And we'll take a rock to the left. And then let's take that rocking into a circle. So maybe finding large circles here, maybe finding smaller circles. And then begin to circle in the other direction. And we're just going to release our low back of any tension here. Giving ourselves some time for relaxation. We'll come into Savasana. This is our resting pose of our practice. So of course, if you need to take any final stretch or movement, you can always do that. And if you'd like to take any props that are around you too, anything that would just help you feel more comfy, you can grab those as well. And 
and just letting your eyes close. Giving yourself this opportunity to connect with your body and your breath. Giving yourself this opportunity to integrate all of the benefits of our yoga practice today. Taking a moment, letting your breath deepen, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Making your way onto your thighs, coming into a fetal position for a moment. Coming on up, making your way into seated. If you'd like, hands can come to prayer at heart, into Anjali Mudra, into prayer position. Thanking yourself for practicing yoga this evening, for doing something so good for your mind, your body, and spirit. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you have a wonderful time tonight, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, thanks, Melissa. You're welcome, Dave.